So uh, this week I made a video all about uh, the steps on ordering from private label. But and we mentioned two massive traps. We mentioned the trap of product sourcing and we mentioned the trap of PPC. Today's video we're going to be looking a bit of product sourcing using the Helium 10. So with that further ado, I'm just going to jump straight on it and you'll be able to see what I'm looking at. Before we go into demonstrating Helium 10 black box, I would just like to announce that I'm going to be running a little giveaway in today's video. Uh, it's sponsored by Helium 10. I'm going to be giving away six free months of Helium 10. And uh, yeah, all you got to do in order to be eligible for this giveaway is leave a comment below for yourselves with the word Helium 10. Now, you can leave anything you want. You can say how good the audio is. As long as the comment has the words Helium 10 on them, then you'll be eligible for this giveaway. And I'm going to be running the giveaway um, on Saturday. I'm going to run the draw for yourselves. And uh, yeah, looking forward to giving away six free months of Helium 10 to new Helium 10 subscribers. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Right, so we're straight away here on our Helium 10 and we've opened our favorite tool, which is Blackbox. Of course, we're going to change it to in UK because we are selling in UK. Minimum price I want is let's say 23 quid. I've been changing an awful lot of my sales and I've been aiming to sell instead of from one to 10, I'm going to five to 23 or all the way up to uh, eight, nine quid to 40. That's what I'm trying to do. So we're going to do that. We're going to say a monthly revenue of 3000 all the way to max say 20,000. And what we want, we want it to be quite light. So let's say maximum four pounds, which is about two kg. So these are the simple filters we're going to put on. And we're going to have a look at DIY and tools, with it being the season. So yes, of course, there's so many things we can do here. But what we're going to do is we're trying to get an idea. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get an idea from this. So straight away here, what we've got is we've got um, this laser. Now, Personally, I have bought one myself too, and uh, I think I paid 50 quid, not a boss one. I think it was a private label product, so it's a, maybe a good idea for yourself if you wanted to. Um, one of the main things I do say and do advise is when you do private label is trying to veer off away from electronics, but, I mean, you cannot lie with that revenue. Of course, Boss is a massive brand, and um, yeah, just have a look. So we've got Dremel here. This is an electric engraver. I have never heard of this band Dremel, and I do think I'm fairly okay when it comes to uh, DIY. So we've got an electric engraver. So I'll look further down the list. So that's one something we can actually press the actually of the video. Uh, have a look at um, soft closed drawers. Very interesting. I've never, I would have never thought of selling that myself. But you got soft closed doors, drawers even. Sorry, <laughs> drawer runners. Very interesting. I don't know how that went through here. Cement mixer. So someone's doing FBM, so hence as to potentially why uh, Helium Time's not picked out the weight. Professional heat gun. I do say that there's got to be a lot more people due to a lot more people doing RA in a way that have potentially been buying uh, a heat gun online. Um, we've got monthly revenue of 2,830. So yeah, how many sales we've got per month? Uh, 118. Great health, great list, great listing. Look at it straight away. You can see exactly what the item is, what comes with it. Looks well polished. You got all the information there here. A great, great listing. With just the 32 reviews, okay, so it's pretty much only just started. So great, great reviews here. Nice. Uh, so let's have a look again. So stay away from electronics, but let's have a look at this Dremel one. I just picked my interest. We've got electric engraver. So let's first of all have a look for maybe stylo and electric engraver. Oh, apologies, by the way, I'm doing it at the same time. So if I make any mistakes or feel slow, is as I was doing it uh, personally. So engraving pen. Engraving pen, that's there. Let's have a look at x ray. Let's see what the page says. So we've got a total revenue of 48,000. Now, for myself, um, I wouldn't I wouldn't go on that. Or let's try and change the keyword. Maybe let's go for electric engraver. Maybe it's the plus sign that's throwing it off. 
So we're already at 77. Maybe if I put Stylo Engraver, would that make any difference? Fun fact for you, stylos is the Greek word for pen. Stylo Engraver, hence, hence why. Uh, let's run X-ray again. So it seems to be that Electric Engraver has the most... Electric Engraver seems to have the most um, revenue from the front page. Now, I really want to go and get about 200 to 400,000. That's what I want when I'm launching a product. 200, 400, because then I'd get... Um, the demand would be there for myself. You can see here, there seems quite a lot uh, for us. I guess one of the things you could do, you could potentially go into the store and uh, see what else they're selling. We can visit the storefront. We can see what else they're selling. So magnet kit and no magnet kit. Magnet facing is quite popular over in America at the moment in time. Loads of TikTok videos all about it. Have a look, anything else? Trim removal kit. I'm just seeing what they're selling, potentially something that might interest me. Um, so that's what I do often. Um, for us, if I had on X ray, it'll tell you pretty much the revenue. So they're making six or seven K, which is not bad selling those products. Let's go back to Black Box. Let's have a look if we can get any other ideas. I was looking at these myself personally, thinking if I can do it. What if something went wrong? <laughs> uh, so I was looking personally for myself. I can get some locks over, but I couldn't compete with the pricing. Um, adjustable alloy steel. Alloy adjustable wrench. We've got three of them here. Let's have a look. Uh, so just launched, just started. Maybe the sales are not as good at the moment in time. Yeah, potentially the sales not as good at the moment in time for this item. Let's go into this. Have a look at the runners yet again. By the way, when it comes to product sourcing for PL, it's not something that you need to be rushing for yourself. So you get an idea, you try it, you're looking at different stores for yourselves and think what you can do. Now, it seems that they've clearly been running with this idea over and over again. Um, let's have a look at the store revenue. 15,000 revenue on that. Um, let's have a look, draw runner, that's the key word. So we're gonna have a look at the front page revenue for this. Increase it, we're about 90,000 here. But again, we're not seeing anything crazy. So let's edit it filters. Let's go for maybe a bit higher revenue so we can see a few more products potentially. Let's go to 30,000. Get some more ideas. So again, we've got the 14,000 is the biggest one. I think is because I put price more than 23. If we edit this and go to 19. Let's put 18. So you get more products, we've got letterbox cage with fixing. Interesting. Bulky item, unless you can put it together. If it comes like this, then it's obviously quite a bulky item. Uh, but it should be fairly, fairly light, but bulky. Let's have a look what we're looking at. Six hours revenue, not too bad, really. Um, so if I filter again by revenue, I'll just get the ideas for us too. Got 29,000 rusting stain blocker. Why required? Again, we're going back to them rinses that we saw earlier. Got to be quite a massive rinse.
gloves. Snog kit. Yeah, I've seen this one too. That's a good idea for myself too. So these are like uh, headphones you could have. So a lot of people... I mean, we're going into festival season too, so this might do really, really well. Because um, obviously you can put it on top of your kid and the one hear the music. So if you want to go to a festival, you can still have it. Um, it seems like they've been doing quite well. I don't know if the brown snog is a big brand. Let's have a look. Seems to be doing just headphones. Nah, got a few things here. Have a look at the revenue. 60,000 revenue per month. They are selling this item for 19.99. Let's see if we want to run with this idea. By the way, let's have a quick look to um noise, noise cancelling or headphones protectors for children. Two nine two. So yes, we've got a bit of an idea, really. So we're looking at here. I want. Let's go for GPT. Let's go for pounds. Okay, so I've just changed it for pounds. Usually, I do leave it in dollars uh, for myself, um, but let's go for pounds now. This looks very similar to what they've got. Three to five twenty-eight. Three to five twenty-eight, and we've got nineteen ninety-nine, fourteen ninety-nine, nineteen. We've got nine forty-nine. Be very, very hard to compete at that price at nine forty-nine for ourselves. Eighteen, twelve. So what you would have to do here is you would have to go further into the product and figure out what makes the difference between the 19 quid product and the nine quid product. Um, so you're looking, okay, you can see already here, it's got the soft cushioning uh, compared to this one, which is just plastic. So if you're gonna have your toddler, you want them to have the most comfort possible. Uh, so you like the cushioning. So you can see the ones that have got cushioning seem to be charging a lot more. So that might be something to do it. It might be the case of what they can block, how many decibels they can block. Uh, so th these are things that you're looking for here for us. And you would contact the supplier. So it's as simple as um, getting the ones here you've got, you can compare it. So let's see anything else popping up. We've got this, compare it. We don't want that. So anything that ticks your box as children headphones, you would compare it. Usually I get 20 and I send a blanket response to everyone and I say, uh, by the way, X, Y, and Z, I'm director of this company. I am looking for 500 units. You want 500 units in order for you to be taken seriously. And then you ask for the price. I ask for EXW price in order to figure out what they want for those 500 units. And then you can say, well, um, how much for them to get posted over here? So 500 units DDP postage. Later on in the time, you'd be asking what's the full price uh, for cost of postage and so on um, with them. But at the moment in time, let's do a DDP postage. Once you work this out, then you can figure out your margins. So this is something that I've been using for myself quite a lot. So this is something that I've been using quite a lot for myself. So it's a revenue calculator from Amazon. Let's go back to this headphone and let's say we're gonna copy this ASIN from here. We're gonna type this because we're gonna do everything according to those calculations. We could say these are the figures that we're working with because um, we've got the dimensions in X, Y, Z. I have picked the cheapest one, haven't I, of course. So if you pick this item and it's got a landing cost of let's say three pounds, your margin it is tiny. Um, let's say if you had the same item, we were getting that for 19. In fact, let's get one that is also getting snug. Let's get the snug one, okay? And let's get the Asian for that. Let's grab the Asian quickly from this one. We can see on bottom. Oh, what am I doing? There we go, straight here. I'm silly, I was going down to the bottom for it. But let's go to revenue calculator here. We're gonna look for another product. We're gonna put the ace in there. Now, the thing that I like about this is, of course you can define a product with the measurements, but 
we're doing it according to this product here. That's what we're doing. We've got 19.99. We can source her for, let's say, five. That's very close to the margin that I want. I want a margin of 30% because that is going to take into account the advertising for us. So this is what changed massively in my business since um, aiming for this net margin, doing this calculation, being close as possible to 30% uh, has made a massive, massive difference to my business because I'm able to factor the cost of advertising to it and be very comfortable with it. Uh, of course, you can play around and say average units, let's say we're expecting 300 units and a beginning of the product, we're selling maybe 50. So estimated sales 50. So you can see your profit margin there for yourselves. Uh, I like the fact that it could say what is the storage cost uh, for those units. Monthly storage cost per unit is 4p instead of having it to your house and taking all the space. But yeah, this is something that I use every single time I'm doing my calculations. Once I get my shipping details over and I know how much it's going to cost me, um, that's what I do. I go into the revenue calculator and work out um, what the margin is going to be. If it's close to 30%, that is when I hit that buy. And uh, there's been many, many products that I found over the last two weeks that I've done all the work for it, uh, been sourcing, communicating, and then it's just I couldn't get down, I couldn't get close to those 30%. I was getting at 24%. And I know from past experiences, and sadly, when ordering products and done mistakes, and going back to this revenue calculator and putting the numbers, I can see that, Nick, no wonder it didn't work. You were ordering and you had a 10% margin how would this work after advertising? So this is why I had a product launch this week that has already sold 30 units and I'm getting, what well, I think it's 750 per profit per unit. Um, so I'm really, really pleased because I've been doing all the graft in the background and studying and studying content <laughs> consistently with it. It's, let's say, for example, now I'm studying again, I'm looking through all the Helium 10 PPC, trying to better myself as much as possible. Um, and again, I've got people that, I've jumped on uh, my private mentoring course. I need to be on tip top shape, delivering um, the information to themselves. This is why I'm constantly trying to teach myself over and over again. But what I've done here is I've just shown you part of it of how you would go through trying to find a product, identify the pricing, communicate with them and uh, figure out what the margins are for your products. And if it works, then you deep dive into it. You're thinking, what else can I do X, Y, and Z? Um, one of the big things that I would say, if you're gonna be communicating to people to in China, if you live in the UK, do bear in mind that eight hours ahead. So if you're thinking you're gonna message them after your work around six o'clock in the evening, it's two o'clock in the morning for them that you're not going to get a response to the day after. So maybe if you're thinking, I've got the idea, I want to contact them, how about you jump in at six o'clock in the morning and get the answers you want straight away for yourselves. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, that'd be amazing. If you subscribe, even better. We are very much close to 600 subscribers, which sounds insane, insane even, from this uh, tinfoil room. But yeah, I am forever thankful for anyone subscribing. I'm forever thankful for anyone that is pressing any of the links uh, below the affiliate links. And thanks so much for watching, everyone. And don't forget to leave the comment below for yourselves and a thumbs up uh, in order to enter the six free month giveaway of Helium 10.